back to G4's holiday hit list, your guide to the games that will rule your future. I'm Greg Grunberg. Now, you've watched this family on TV since 1989, and we've loved them. And although Bart should be two years into a mental facility, and Maggie should be in junior high by now, Homer certainly should be dead, uh, they're still as fresh as ever, but you've never seen The Simpsons quite like this. Simpsons Hit and Run is simple fun, but definitely the best Simpsons game uh, to come across the new consoles. The best Simpsons game ever made. Um, you know, there, there's been a ton of bad ones. You're not going through that crap again. It's actually a fun, playable game. I can't serve bows to a minor. It ain't right. I'm here to buy fireworks. Oh, hell yeah. It's kind of like based, I think, off of GTA. Sort of, uh, you're in Springfield. You can just go anywhere you want. You can jack cars. There are missions that you go on. You can, you know, play as a whole bunch of characters. Newhouse, what are you doing here? I thought you had a four o'clock wedgie with Nelson. I rescheduled. People into video games are often really into The Simpsons. Ugh, video games, what a waste of money. It kind of takes a page out of Grand Theft Auto. That's the basic template for the game, and uh, using The Simpsons characters, the voices, everything, and it's actually supposed to be a pretty good game. Our magazine labeled that one the best Simpsons game ever. Everybody who has played it has really enjoyed it. Now to go online and bid $1,000 for itchy and scratchy corn cup holders. Most people, whether they play games or not, have heard of Sonic the Hedgehog. But slightly fewer people have ever heard of Sonic's creator, Yuji Naka. In a fresh break from the spiky-haired marsupial, Naka has created Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg. Now, in the role of Billy, players will have to save their homeland by mastering control of the world's magic eggs, which can be used to perform a variety of tasks that Billy himself cannot. All right, let's switch gears from an egg-citing kid uh, to a regular Joe who becomes a cinematic superhero in Beautiful Joe. Luckily, your action movie hero, Captain Blue, gives you the V-Watch, which will give you the abilities and powers worthy of a cartoon hero. Beautiful Joe is incredible. It's the uh, it's got the weirdest name, uh, but you know, for the greatest game, it's it's just such a great game. It might seem a little old school. It it looks 2D. Everything's very flat. It's got a great style to it. It's not incredibly realistic. Oh, man, don't flatter yourself. Max speed. He has these different powers where he can speed up and slow down time. And that affects everything from how he can punch and kick enemies in all these different ways. And the game has its own little world of physics. It shows you what you know, bat brain. It's just a great playing game. Like a really solid, fun, awesome, awesome game. Definitely recommend it. Rare is best known as the chameleon of a company behind titles like GoldenEye, Conker's Bad Fur Day, and Perfect Dark. And its unpredictable nature is reaffirmed once again by Grabbed by the Ghoulies. This game is spooky in a Scooby-Doo sort of way, and you'll have to come face to face with a horde of ghosts, goblins, and... Let me see... Ghoulies? Yes! On your quest to rescue your girlfriend from the horrors of an evil mansion. Now, imagine going on foot through the haunted house at Disneyland, where the environment is completely interactive, and that's what you got here. Grabbed by the Ghoulies. In the realm of third-person platform games, few companies stand out, like Naughty Dog. And they're back with a sequel to Jack and Daxter with Jack 2. In a more futuristic, grittier world than the first game, an older and wiser Jack will have new moves at his disposal, along with an arsenal of ultra-modern weapons and a hoverboard as his main form of transportation. This GTA-inspired title looks not like a clone on the surface, but it's actually a genre-busting game worth checking out. If hobbits, trolls, and wizardry are a way of life for you, then you're a geek. But if you're not, and you're just a fan like I am, then you're a big fan of Tolkien, or you're living in a padded cell. And as moviegoers prepare for the final installment of the series, gamers are also gearing up for the EA video game version. Aptly titled, Return of the King. Lord of the Rings, Return of the King is a step past the original. It's bigger, more epic, more intense. It's absolutely mind-blowing. Uh, it's just how they, they integrated movies and graphics even further than the last game. Just looking at it, it, it looks like the movies, you know, they do this thing now where it, it um, 
pans in from the movie and just fades into the game. One of the best things about Lord of the Rings Return of the King is that you can play through the game in three different paths. There's, uh, there's the warrior path, and then there's the path for the hobbits, which is Samwise and Frodo. You can also play through as uh, Gandalf, a surprisingly spry Gandalf. And each of them has their own specific uh, skill set and special abilities. It, it really ties in well with the films. It, it really looks great. Um, it looks just like the film. It's pretty much um, one of the better games this holiday. Well, yes, to most gamers, Homeworld 2 isn't really an action game. You'd be hard-pressed to find anyone who would say this game isn't really all about action. In reality, Homeworld 2 is a real-time strategy game, but you'll find more action in here than in Captain Kirk's quarters on the Enterprise. And the richly detailed, fully 3D environment will give you a new appreciation for the vastness and cosmic beauty that is Deep Space. The Castlevania series, which chronicles the struggle of a vampire hunting family through the ages, dates back to the days of the original NES. And with Lament of Innocence, the series finally makes its way to the next-gen consoles. It also serves as a prequel to the entire series and tells the story of Belmont patriarch Leon Belmont, who must go head-to-head -head with Dracula himself to save his girl. Lament of Innocence offers lessons of love, loss, and how to kill a blood-sucking demon with nothing more than a whip and a wooden cross. All right, let's switch gears from killing the shadow dwellers to shadow-lurking assassins. Ninjas! Ninjas have that certain joie de vivre that is the envy of all other killers for hire, whether it's their ability to be virtually invisible or just those cool throwing stars. Who wouldn't want to be a ninja? I mean, let's face it, they get to wear black, all black. It's very slimming. Now, you can be that slimming and that dangerous thanks to Ninja Gaiden for Xbox. Ninja Gaiden will probably be the tightest action video game ever made. That's a lot to say, but, but I can say that in terms of control mechanics and uh, depth of control, depth of action, it's pretty much as good as it gets. Ninja Gaiden is definitely one of the, is definitely the game I'm most excited about for the Xbox this year, if not uh, any game, any console. Uh, it's fast, it's beautiful, and it's a, it's a pure video game. It's all, you know, it's all about action and looking cool, and uh, I think we need more games like that. Ninja Gaiden is... Uh, pretty heavily anticipated only because it just looks so damn cool. You can't look at that game and not like go, oh my god, this just looks amazing. Yes, Ninja Gaiden looks amazing. When I first saw it, um, you know, it was one of those things that if you saw it and the people were telling you that this was a, a PS3 game or an Xbox 2 game, you'd be liable to believe them because it's just so amazing visually. It's an old school franchise that they're bringing back. So there are going to be some surprises in there in the sort of old school way that gamers can discover. You just sit there and you're just like, I can't believe I'm manipulating what's going on in this environment. And like, I have control of this kick-ass character that, you know, has all these different weapons and all these different abilities. It's really violent and there are all these cool moves and different weapons to fight with. And I think it's probably the best 3D action game in this world. I need a minute, a minute to go freshen up. All right, we're going to take a break.